President Trump has forced out his third national security advisor. John Bolton handed the president his resignation this morning, capping off 17 months in the administration where he often clashed with his boss, with others on key policy issues. CBS's Nicole Killian has more from the White House. Foreign policy hawk and national security advisor John Bolton is out of a job. President Trump announced the departure on Twitter, saying he disagreed strongly with many of his suggestions. John Bolton's priorities and policies just don't line up with the president's. Bolton reportedly opposed the widely criticized plan to meet with Taliban leaders at Camp David and was also against the president's warming to North Korea and willingness to engage with Iran. Some lawmakers chalked up the split to basic chemistry. Characters and personalities, they just didn't get along. And uh, it, sometimes you can't say why that is. The president and Bolton even disagreed about who decided the departure. The president implied he fired Bolton while Bolton claimed he offered to resign. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo also acknowledged he and Bolton didn't see eye to eye. I know everyone's talked about this for an awfully long time. There were definitely places that Ambassador and I, Bolton and I, had different views about how we should proceed. Top Democrats called the ouster a symbol of disarray within the administration, while members of the president's own party had mixed reactions. A big loss for the, uh, for the country to, to not have John Bolton as a, a part of the senior a team on foreign policy. I think it's a good thing for the country, a good thing for anyone who advocates for a more realistic foreign policy. President Trump says he will name a replacement next week. Nicole Gillian, CBS News, the White House. Deputy National Security Advisor Charles Kupperman will fill that job on an acting basis.